up y'all it's your girl dr nina and it's about to be summer i'm trying to be out here like <laughs> Y'all, we headed to the pool. What's up, mama? Yes. Oh, me? I'm just flexing for no apparent reason. Hey, what's up, neighbors? Yeah, I'm just being real neighborly. You see them underarms, though? <laughs> So in order to keep hitting that best of life, we definitely want to get them best underarms. You feel me? For those of you all that have watched me for years, you know that your girl has hydrodonitis superativa and found out about that when I was about 100 pounds heavier. So what happens to the body is usually in the armpits, the growing, the thighs, or any connective folds of the body that have moisture or buildup of sweat, you usually end up with some cysts or boils. When these come to a head, sometimes they erupt and they cause dark marks on the body. I have a lot of videos on hydrodonitis and I've listed them below in the information section. I've really found a lot of ways to counteract that and help the darkening that occurred in many of these areas of my body. But there are many other reasons why people experience darkening of the underarm. Some of those reasons include shaving or excess shaving, but don't worry, we are gonna talk about that today. Deodorants or your choices in odor removal, hyperpigmentation or darkening of areas of the skin. When them little clothes you wanna wear, it's a little too tight, all of that friction can cause a lot of issues under those arms. Or acanthosis nigricans, which is also a darkened thickness of the skin. So y'all know your girl don't promise you any kind of results overnight. Everything you do is gonna have to take time. You're gonna have to find something that works for you and stick with it. And if you're not seeing effects of what you're sticking with, you'll definitely wanna go see a doctor or specialist. Any items I talk about today can be found down below in that information section. But let's go ahead and get on into this. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you like it. Comment, share, and subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel. Make sure that you come back on all Thursdays and some Sundays for video uploads and also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. First up are my quickest and remedies that I've used that are simplistic and easy to work into your day. First one up is the potato which I've told you all before has mild acidic properties so it's less irritating to the skin but it's a natural bleaching agent and what you're actually benefiting from is the juice of the potato. I've used this on other parts of my body especially when I just start to notice some darkness and like I said this is a quick option I can use like twice a day until I start to see that the darkness is leaving and going away but you basically just cut a slice take it make sure you rub it under your arms for 15 to 20 minutes allow it to dry in and then rinse it off with lukewarm to cool water my next quick remedy is the cucumber and let me say this guys I usually roll with what I have available so if I have potatoes available if I have cucumbers available I roll with either one but the cucumber is also great and can be used just like the potato was because it has a natural bleaching agent as well. I find cucumbers to be particularly cooling and calming to my skin and helps with those skin discolorations but also a little known fact is that it really helps with odor so it can also help a little bit with alleviating the odors that especially come around this time of year as it gets warmer. If I want to take my game up just a notch with the cucumber I add just a few drops of lemon juice. Y'all know I ain't big on using lemons on my body but just a little bit and just a few dashes of healing turmeric. I love turmeric and I mix that down because I'm going to extract the juice and rub that under my arms just like I would the potato or just like I would the cucumber slice. When I apply it with a cotton ball I let it sit under my arms for about 15 minutes and then I rinse it off with lukewarm to cool water. I keep this mix in the refrigerator for up to about three days to keep it fresh only using it about every other day until I see the results that I want. Now for me I really like this one because of my hydrodonitis so if I have a closed boil under my arm that's starting to scar it usually helps to lighten the scar and keeps it from getting very dark. This next remedy is more of a mask. It might take just a little bit more time out of your day. Y'all, I use this next one when I need a little bit more help from Jesus. You know I swear by Bazon, turmeric, and also plain yogurt. The Bazon is great for exfoliating the skin while the turmeric helps to heal. And the lactic acid in the yogurt helps to condition the skin and smooth it out. I simply mix about two tablespoons of everything together except for a few dashes of the turmeric powder. Mainly because this just does 
doesn't need that much and it's meant to soothe those underarms i actually like using this mix on a day when i know that i'm going to shave underneath my arms which only happens about one to two times a week if even that much but i definitely don't always use this i try to make sure i spread it out to only when i'm seeing severe darkening under my arms i don't use it every day so i use it when i need the big gun and every other day until i start to see that the darkening is going away simply paint it on in a thin layer allow it to dry for up to about 25 30 minutes and rinse it off with lukewarm to cool water in the shower i store the rest in the refrigerator for up to a week now i'm going to give you guys a few showering tips that have really worked for me over the years including my shaving tips that have kept these underarms really nice and healthy the soap that i'm using today is my dove sensitive skincare but i also use pure castile soap and then i put that on my sea foam sponge. i ensure while in the shower i wipe completely under my arms especially when i'm going to be shaving so that i get rid of all bacteria residue from any antiperspirants or deodorants and anything else that could cause me issues i like making sure that i take my sugar scrub into the shower which is just simply brown sugar and olive oil that's all i love this because it helps to further soften my underarms and also it seems to create a barrier because of the olive oil under my arms that seem to protect it before shaving so i'm just rubbing in clockwise and counterclockwise motions softly and gently once i rinse that off with my lukewarm water i'm moving on to my chic hydro which y'all know i love this doggone shaver it's just amazing i apply my pure silk in a thin layer under my arms i love this stuff because it's aloe base and it makes it easy to shave so i do a thin layer because then i'm also not over shaving and i'm able to keep track of how much i'm shaving i'm a little ocd and only allow myself 12 shaving strokes under each arm and i try not to repeat an area at all when i'm done i towel pat dry and i find that this method helps me avoid overly irritating my underarms and any ingrown hairs hey pits we did that <laughs> I still moisturize with aloe vera gel and jojoba oil. I like this method because it carries down into the armpits and helps to avoid a lot of those boils and any acne and things like that. So I just take it in a thin layer and make sure I moisturize. I know we don't often remember our underarms, but they need some love too, all right? So this helps to cool and soothe any irritated skin, especially after shaving. I promised that the next time I did this video, I was going to make sure I gave you all some tips for deodorants that I'm using to keep my underarms nice and bomb. So I'm using a crystal body deodorant stick, which I really love. The coconut and papaya by Nubian Heritage deodorant and also coconut oil. This one I tend to work in on days when I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of activity or movement. It keeps me fresh, but I don't like it for high stress days. This one I tend to use on high stress days or days that I'm working or working out or moving around a lot. It seems to work a lot better when I'm more active. And the coconut oil has worked wonders for me before going to bed because it gives me a more neutral scent. With the scent free crystal, I simply wet the top just a little bit with regular water and then I rub it under the arm just massage it under straight from the stick. With the Nubian Heritage deodorant as I've done in the past with most any deodorant I rub the top and make sure that I massage it in. This seems to keep me odor free for longer. And with the coconut oil I just take a few drops and massage it in thoroughly for about a minute and make sure that both underarms are saturated with it. Oh, today has been very beneficial for you guys. I know it's not always comfortable to talk about underarms and things of that sort but you know over here we talk about a little bit of everything so let me know any other ideas that you all have for me that you want to see in 2018 don't forget to comment share this video with someone who could use it and subscribe thanks so much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll peace Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.